Hey, what's up and welcome, my name's Carl. Now, this week I'll be showing you how to get that text reveal look within Final Cut and by the end of this video you should have text that will reveal itself as if hidden behind your subject. So, without any further ado, Right, so first off, if your project isn't open, go ahead and do that. Once opened, find the clip that will be revealing the text and append it to your timeline. Now, because you'll be masking this clip, you'll need to duplicate it. Stack the duplicate on top of the original or connect it to the start point of the clip and disable the original clip. Head over to your effects browser and under the keying field, choose and apply the Luma Kia onto the top clip. To see that the effect is working when we start tweaking, put in the text you'd like to use. Go to your text browser, select the one, and now connect it to the first clip. This is important. You want the text to overlay the original clip, but hide behind the composite. Adjust the text to a size that you're comfortable with. Generally, I use this text as a guide to see if the effect is working, and come back to getting the final look after the effect is 100%. Great, we can now start tweaking the Lumakia parameters in the video inspector. Select the clip and make sure your inspector window is open. The first thing to adjust is the view type. You'll want to change it to the matte view. Depending on the content of your clip, the next steps will be either easy or slightly complex. Enable the invert option. The idea with this is to get your subject to be as flat as possible so it can block the text from view. To achieve this flat look, you'll adjust the Luma sliders located at the top of the effect. In my clip, I want the t-shirt to block the text, so I'm getting the t-shirt to be as flat as possible. Your subject should look similar. Once you're happy with the look, you can click the composite button from the view parameter. Don't panic if the clips look a bit strange. Once you enable the bottom clip again, the composite should look like a normal clip but with the text hiding behind your subject. You can also add some keyframing to the text to give it some life. Congratulations! You now have some text that hides behind your subject or is revealed by your subject. Thanks for watching this week's video. If you liked what you saw, please hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please hit that sub button. If there's certain tutorials you'd like me to cover, please drop a comment below. Also, if you'd like to follow me on my various social communities, I'll post the links in the description below. But as for me, Carl, take care.